Welcome, collectors. Thank you for joining me once again for another edition of Diecast Emporium. Today, I am thrilled to bring you another Hot Wheels Premium Car Culture case, fresh in from J Car Diecast. This is going to be the D case for 2021, otherwise known as the Exotic Envy. There will be five cars in this set and ten cars in the case. So if all goes well, as I like to say, hopefully there will be two of each. So let's not waste any more time. Let's crack it open and see what's inside. Pretty excited to get this case and this collection. I have seen images on the computer, but I have yet to see any of these in my stores or in my local area. And these car culture sets never cease to amaze. They seem to get better every single time they issue one. So, looking at the top-down view, we see nothing but a brown spacer. So, let's continue the suspense. There we go. That's a little bit better. And as I suspected, looking over it very, very quickly, luckily, we have two of each. So, instant win already. Let's go ahead and take the first one out of the box. We have the 16 Bugatti Chiron, number four of five. My gosh, look at that card art. That is unbelievable. So is the car. Uh, the Bugatti at one point was the fastest production car uh, in the world. And man, what a beautiful replica of that. Holy smokes. Uh, love the wheel choice on it. If you are new, make sure you stay all the way to the second portion of this video. When we get done with the full unboxing of the cars out of the case, we're going to open up one of each and put them on the spin table, and I'll give you my two cents of each of them. So 16 Bugatti Chiron, number four of five in the Exotic Envy. Back of the box, there's all the copyright information as well as the other four that are in this collection. You have the McLaren Senna, the Aston Martin Vulcan, the Aston Martin Vallea Concept, the 16 Bugatti Chiron, and the Lamborghini Huracan LP 610-4. What a mouthful. Uh, yeah, these are all wonderful dream rides that, of course, 99.9% .9 of us watching this video and collecting will never, unfortunately, have the opportunity to own the real ones. But, hey, we can dream in 164 scale. That is the theme of, of course, envying these exotic rides. So there are two of the Bugattis. Here's the other one. Next up, we have the McLaren Senna. I'll give you a little bit of background information on the name of this car and its significance for those that maybe just collect Hot Wheels and may not be familiar with Ayrton Senna and uh, what an incredible individual he was. Number one of five. Two of those. There we go. God, this card art is just insane. Next, we have the Aston Martin... Vallea concept. I hope I'm saying that right. I've actually never read up on this car or seen this. Um, but anyway, it's a sharp looking Aston Martin. Once again, that same city backdrop. Uh, it looks like in the middle of the night. That's number three of five. Two of those. There we go. And we have a very sharp in green Lamborghini Huracan. This is the long one. Lamborghini Huracan LP 610-4 in a very sharp lime green metallic flake paint. Very, very sharp. Like that one a lot. That's five of five. Finally, and there's two of those, by the way. There's the other one. And then lastly, out of the case, we have two of the Aston Martin Vulcans in what can only be described as a uh, like a metallic burnt orange color. Uh, that's number two of five. Very sharp indeed. And here's the other one of those. So at this juncture, let's take a quick break. When we come back, we will have the table out and we will open one of each of these. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this short break. All right. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you so much for sticking with me. We are going to open these in numerical order, not necessarily in the order of my favorite because I'm going to get this out of the way right now. Hands down, in my opinion, if it means anything to you, the McLaren Senna uh, is my favorite out of this five, hands down. So while we open this, a little bit of background information on Ayrton Senna, who this car is named after. He raced for McLaren in the 80s and the early part of the 90s in Formula One, and he did a ton, for, for as successful as he was, being a multi-time Formula One World Drivers Champion, he is best known for what he did for his home country of Brazil uh, in creating schools and foundations and really 
bringing the country around and just doing so much for Brazil, uh, and particularly Brazil's young population. He, is an, he was an incredible individual. Unfortunately, we lost him in 1994 in a uh, F1 crash at Imola. Um, but if you've never seen the documentation on Netflix called Senna, I would highly encourage you to look that up. But he was just one of those larger-than-life figures, not only in, motors, in motorsport, but in terms of just a celebrity in general. Uh, just a wonderful individual. That being said, McLaren, of course, now today, uh, they, they still have a relationship with the Senna family and the name. And what better way to pay tribute to him and all he's done than name an actual supercar after him. Uh, so that's the story behind the McLaren Senna. As for the Hot Wheels version, which, of course, most of you guys care about, that's what we're here for. I love this thing. You can see that it's got this almost gray slash white paint. The McLaren logo on the front, the large diffuser on the back, along with the large spoiler. Uh, very large wheels. Here's your base for those that may be interested in that kind of thing. Hopefully we will zoom in on that. There we go. Copyright 2018. I believe this debuted in the basic line a couple years ago. Uh, I don't know for a fact if this is the first time we've seen it in premium. I believe it is. But uh, getting it in premium just brings this casting out to a whole nother level. You can see the interior detailing as well. Uh, this is a left-hand drive car, despite it being a European supercar. Uh, and this thing is just unbelievable. Check out the splitter, this portion, on the front end of this thing. This is a serious, serious racing car. So that's the McLaren Senna. That's why it's my favorite. To me, it means much more than the overall profile or the overall design. Just what this represents in the Senna name, this is a must-add for sure. All right, number two in the collection, we have the Aston Martin Vulcan. Another one of those, well, supercars and exotic envies. Here it is in this orange color. Let's open it up. Put it on the table here. So a lot of these are going to have very similar, I guess you'd say, silhouettes or profiles if you were to look at them far away. They all kind of have, you know, the large racing spoiler at the rear, uh, the diffusers, the splitter at the front. So this one, like the McLaren Senna, was built as more of a supercar, a racing car, a track car to push the limits of Aston Martin racing technology, which, of course, Aston Martin now, as of this year, has their own Formula One team, which a lot of, you know, a lot of people ask, what is the point of having racing teams in relation to road cars? Most of your road car technology for decades and decades comes from what has been found out and researched and finessed in racing. So, for example, traction control, um, anti-lock brakes, just a couple examples immediately that have come from racing technology that are now in road cars and road car safety. So for those of you that are like, well, what's the point of racing? Especially, I know a lot of the younger generation doesn't necessarily like racing at all. Uh, just think of some of the safety advancements that come from motorsport that transfers to road cars. But anyway, as far as this casting, again, great looking in this burnt orange color. You have the Aston Martin logo on the very front of the car. You can't miss it. Whoops, camera's almost going to fall on us. That's what happens when we do these videos live. So there's the Aston Martin logo. You see the hood vents there, the carbon fiber up on top of the top portion of the cab, which is going to be really unfortunate if one of these things roll because, as you may or may not know, Aston or uh, carbon fiber weighs almost nothing. There's the side profile. There's the rear with your tail lights. Once again, the Aston Martin logo right there underneath the rear wing. For the base, there we go. It's upside down. Let's try that again. There we go. Aston Martin Vulcan 2018 copyright made in Thailand and your uh, base code information with rubber tires with some actual tread detailing on it. So very good looking car. Very impressed with this set thus far. So that's one and two. Let's go to number three in the set, which is another Aston Martin. This one in more of a red color. This is the Aston Martin Vallea concept, which I, again, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Have not read up, have not seen this car, have no idea what this is all involved with. Uh, my guess is that it's probably an electric supercar, because that's where all supercars are going now. And, uh, yeah, this one is copyright 2020, made in Thailand as well. There's your base code, P13. Once again, this one is also left-hand drive. 
simulated carbon fiber roof and it would not surprise me i can't verify this but it would not surprise me if this is a uh, mid-engine car as well meaning that the engine is in the rear back here um sharp sharp looking car hood vents at the front very low profile doesn't have such a huge splitter at the front in fact there's hardly any splitter at all uh, big large fat wheels to spread out the weight on this and check out the back end of that that's awesome we'll put him on the table for a little while we are we are just having a rough time here today there we go hope you guys appreciate this so I like to do this as you guys are watching this, so there's no editing in this, there's no takes, we, we do this in absolutely one video shot, so sometimes if things don't go exactly perfect, that's alright, we uh, we just keep going and make the absolute best of it, but uh, that that's the 360 degree view of the car on the table, I, I gotta say, I, I really wasn't all that impressed, but looking at it in person, it's a pretty nice casting. The body lines in particular here, how they're indented and the, the look of the car, it's pretty sharp. All right, number four of five, if I'm guessing, and that's all I'm doing at this point. This is probably going to be one of the favorites out of this set, just because if it's a Bugatti and if it says Hot Wheels on it, good luck finding it on the pegs. It's the 16 Bugatti Chiron. Now, the Veyron, the first Bugatti that, well, Bugatti did... As I said before, that held the speed record for a long time as the fastest production car. This one is equally as sharp. Now, the thing about this car and most Bugattis is that they all have very similar front ends. And you can pretty much tell from a mile away that that's a Bugatti coming after you. And uh, they, they have very similar side lines and overall look of the car. Once again, there's the roof. You can see the big, big vents at the rear, the tail lights, your dual exhaust, which comes out at the back. There we go. And the Chiron logo there. Um, there's also the clear... That's really sharp. I hope that's coming across. You can see the, the venting, the clear venting that Mattel did by inserting what appears to be a plastic... Um, a clear plastic insert that had some indentation detail to give you like a, a uh, like like a radiator look to it. That's really, really cool. I don't think I've ever seen that on a premium $6 car, but that is, that's really remarkably sharp. There's your wheels. There's what it looks like underneath. And we'll put it on the table as well. Yeah, that Bugatti is just another level of car cultureness. Um, it's not surprising that that's going to be really hard to find. All right, let's end the set with the Lamborghini Huracan LP610-4. I would venture to say not necessarily the casting, but probably the paint looks the best on this car. Just a very sharp... Um, I, I can only describe it as like a Lamborghini color. You, you know, you buy a Lamborghini to be noticed, to make a status symbol... Like, hey, I'm here. This is my Lambo. Uh, this is my bright, bright lime green color Lambo. And uh, I, I think you can you can definitely say that it comes through on here. Uh, once again, metallic flake paint. Really, really sharp. Headlights. Lambo logo. Um, again, very crisp on the side. Nice details on the back. There's your window. Your rear window. Uh, with the motor in the back. A little bit of detail that you can see. Lamborghini on the back. Gosh, these are nice looking cars. Very impressed with these. There's the base. Here we go. I know it's going to do that. There's the base underneath. So this was made in 2017. The same uh, base coat of P13 for this set. These are incredibly, incredibly nice. So that will conclude my review of the Hot Wheels Premium car culture exotic envy set you guys let me know down in the comments section below which of these is your favorite once again for my own personal reasons and as i have tried to uh, relate to you in this video hands down mclaren senna is my favorite out of this set uh, in terms of paint maybe the lambo is uh, is right there with it casting wise car wise the chiron is i don't know there, there's a lot of good ones in here 
I would recommend getting your case at jcardiecast.com. There will be a link in the video's description. You can pick it up there so you won't ever have to worry about trying to hunt these down in stores and uh, only to find the frustration that you can't get a full set uh, on the pegs because, you know, somebody's beating you to it. So check out jcardiecast.com. You can buy this today. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so very much for watching. Until next time, take care and be safe. I'll see you in the next review.